yeah, so we're going to work out the last two. Sorry, I had to cut these videos in half. Some AP chemistry students came in wanting help on their lab. Um, so, doing page... Whoa, need to pick my pen. Okay, page 231, number three now. Looks a little different because you're not given percentages. And when you're not given percentages, it's actually a little easier because you get to skip your first step. So the question says you have 20 grams of a compound that contains only calcium and bromine. And then they tell you that you have four grams of calcium. What is the empirical formula? Well, this is all the information they give you. You can pretty easily figure out how much bromine you have. And then because you are already in grams, you don't have to deal with the whole percentage and assuming you have 100 grams things to get to grams because you're already there. So you can just skip that and go straight to figuring out number of moles. So calcium has a molar mass of 40.08 grams per mole. And bromine has a mass of 79.90 grams per mole. Plug these guys into the calculator and this one is 0 0.099. Eight, and this one works out to 0 0.2003. Pick the smallest one, 0 0.0998. Divide both of them by that number. And you end up with 1 to 2. So your empirical formula for CABR? CABR2. Exactly what you would expect according to the hill of oxidation numbers. The next one we're going to do is on page 238, and it's number 50. So go ahead and get to that page. And it says that same situation, we know how much compound we have. And we are also told that we have 56.15 grams of carbon, 9.43 grams of hydrogen, 74.81 grams of oxygen, 13.11 grams of nitrogen, and finally 21.49 grams of sodium. This is going to be quite the complex compound. Uh, so again, we're already in grams, so we do not have to go through the trouble of dealing with the percentages. We can just dive straight into figuring out moles. So carbon has a molar mass of 12.01. This is going to get kind of squished. I apologize. Hydrogen has a molar mass of 1.01. Oxygen, 16 grams per mole. Nitrogen, 14.01 grams per mole. And sodium is 22.99 grams per mole. Plug all of these into the calculator. And you get for carbon, 4.675. For hydrogen, 9.337. For oxygen, 4.676, nitrogen, 0 0.9358, and for sodium, 0 0.9348. Now pick the smallest one, which is this guy right here. Divide all five of your numbers by this guy, and 4.675 becomes 5. 9.337 becomes 10, 4.676 is 5, nitrogen 4.358 becomes 1, and of course this one becomes 1. So our empirical formula for this absolutely crazy compound is C5H10O5 N1 Na1. Again though, remember that chemists are kind of lazy, so we don't draw once. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to stop by in uh, not the morning because I won't be there. Um, you can email me tonight if you have questions or I'll, you can ask me in class. Have a great night.